one of the most important things that you guys need to get, and this goes for you if you're doing field, remote, um, if you're going to go sit in a cubicle, right, doing um, call center stuff or whatever, you got to have licenses. As soon as we get off this live stream, um, I'm going to tell you to uh, go to either go get your first license first at adjusterpro.com. And I, was, I have a discount of it's somewhere between 10 and 20 percent um, off of your, whatever you buy on adjusterpro.com. Um, but if you already have your home state license, go to nipr.com or sircon.com and apply for every license between Texas, around the Florida, along the Gulf Coast, up the East Coast to New York, right? Because New York can, can, can get hit. And if you got a New York license, it's a lot easier to send you there. Um, they may send you to New Jersey if you don't have your New York license, right? Um, licenses are absolutely critical. Um, for field, and I would say even more critical if you want to stay home or if you want to do remote. Um, I think there's a couple opportunities that are going to be available to you if you're like, you know what, there's, I broke my foot. Um, I can't remember who it was, broke their foot um, and posted it up in the, the community a few days ago. Can't do field, right? I just, I just can't do it, but I've got all this training. I got my, you know, I'm, I'm getting to be a kind of a whiz and Xactimate and I'm learning all this stuff. Um, uh, what can I do, right? How can I be more deployable? How can I pre present myself in, in a uh, in a way that was really going to enhance my, my my chances to get uh, picked to do remote? And the very best thing that you can do is get licenses, right? Get every possible license that you can. Go to nipr.com or circon and circon.com and just run down and just check all the check check them all if you can. It might cost you grand or two to do that. Um, but it's going to be worth it because you'll be much more deployable, right? Because they can't give you, technically, they can't give you claims in a state, whether you're, you're sitting in, you know, in your apartment in Colorado Springs, or you're in New Hampshire, if you don't have a New Hampshire license, you can't do, you can't work on a claim from New Hampshire, right? Um, this goes double for remote people. Um, they may send you to, they may say, um, hey, we have an opportunity for you. It's remote, but you're going to be, we want you to go to a call center in Mobile, Alabama, right? Or Richardson, Texas, right? Or Irving or whatever it is, where you go stay in a hotel, right? And then you, for seven days a week, 12 hours a day from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., you go sit in a cubicle. You know, you can't handle claims without at least one adjuster license. Get a discount on your property claims adjuster licenses at adjusterpro.com using Adjuster TV at checkout. All day, right? For as long as you can stand it. Um, you usually pay an hourly that's sort of expressed as a day rate. Um, and it's usually pretty darn good money because you're going to get time and a half and double pay and all this kind of stuff or whatever. Double time or overtime. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Um, because you're going to be doing a, you know, seven times 12, whatever that is, 84 hour, 100 hour a week, whatever it is. Um, that's worth it. I would say if you've never done claims before um, and you want to like help and you want to put yourself in a great place, position to learn because you got people sitting on either side of you, plus a manager or a, t a trainer or somebody that's wandering around through the cubicle, cube farm there with you. Again, have opportunities to network with those people and learn from those people and then network with people that are in HQ. Like Pilot has, we'll do this stuff in Mobile. Pilot's HQ is in Mobile, right? So the, the honchos are there. So if you're able to like, you know, if you happen to, you know, they may do a presentation or whatever, and then they ask Q&A and you ask a few good questions or you distinguish yourself in some of the trainings they do to get you started, they may hear about you, right? So this is, it's important to do. Um, you got a, you got a good, um, you don't have to be like a salesperson or like a super sociable person, but just having like being um, there ready and willing to work um, and have a moderate level of like social skills, you'll do really, really, really well. Um, and it's a great start. And they may say, hey, listen, you know, uh, we're really impressed by the stuff you did here. Maybe there's an opportunity for you to be a manager, right? And you could skip the whole like field thing. Or they may say, hey, we need people to go to... Uh, um, Minnesota for uh, ice storm, right? Everybody else is down here on all these hurricane claims. Do you want to go up there and do some field claims for us, right? It'd be a great opportunity for you to learn a lot, blah, blah, blah. Say yes to that. Just go, right? 
those this is one of those deals like the more little doors you kind of nudge your toe into um and the more pos like positions uh, places that you can kind of like put yourself in front of those people the more opportunities will present themselves right so licenses that's all i have to say licenses are extremely important do not wait do not wait for them to uh call you and say hey joe Oh, you know, we had a hurricane in Florida and we just were calling to see if you got a Florida license. You're never going to get that call. These days, maybe in the past, but these days, and not unless there are no other, there's no other Florida license adjusters left, which is, Florida's a popular license and most adjusters have got it. If none of them are left, you might get that call, but it's going to be, you're the dregs, right? They're like clanging around on the bottom of the cup to get the last little, you know, the, the raisin out of the, the, from the, whatever it is, right? Um, they're going to be, when they call people to go work in Florida or New York or New Mexico or Alaska or Minnesota, they're going to jump into their computer machine, which they have these days, and they're going to say, computer, and they'll probably talk to it in, you know, shortly. This would probably be the case. Computer, show me a list of all the adjusters on our roster who have Xactimate Level 2 certification and a Minnesota, an active Minnesota license. And it'll go, no problem. And then the ping, it shows up a list of 75 adjusters or 750 adjusters, right? If you're not, if you don't have a Florida license, you're not on that list, you're not getting called. Pure and simple, right? So you've got to have licenses. You can't just wait and hope to get an emergency license or whatever um, because they can happen absolutely and you hear about people saying it all the time and people will even say you know oh, well that's how i did it you know i just got an emergency license and the next thing i know i was you know a working adjuster um totally can do that um but why not why limit your why why not stack the odds in your favor? Let's just put it that way, right? So the more licenses you get, the more keys open up more places for you to work, more opportunities for you to work. Learn how to become an independent property claims adjuster with my free online course at adjustertv.com slash start.